Hey guys, it's Andy here. In this video, I won't be showing you how to play Moonlight Sonata backwards on the piano using only your toes. I will, however, be showing you how to make this cool illuminated desk tidy. Nice. All you need is a tin, some acrylic, and a few electronic parts, and you're basically good to go. So, without a doubt, let's get to it. So, to begin with, I use the bottom of this small metal tin. I then found a piece of acrylic left over from a previous project. This acrylic used to be part of a picture frame, and it's nice and thick. As you can see, it fits perfect over the tin. All I needed to do was chop it into a rectangular shape. Once that was done, I used a file and a rotary tool to smoothen out the back. I also marked out two places on each end and then drilled holes through them thick enough to fit screws. There we go. I then measured three spots equal lengths apart and used a drill piece thick enough to make holes for the average pen. Each hole I drilled down until it was around 3mm away from the bottom. I then used a rotary tool to smoothen out the holes. There we go, looking good. After that, I decided to drill a smaller hole underneath the middle hole. This will be the hole which fits in the LED. I marked out and drilled two holes in the tin so I could screw in the acrylic. There we go. Also, I drilled a hole through the center of the tin so that the LED would fit through. To illuminate the thing, I took apart one of these bright LED torch keyrings. I then used the two cell batteries, the LED, some wire and some tape to make a simple circuit with this small switch. Simple. I then drilled a hole to fit the switch on the edge. There we go. I then inserted the LED into that centre hole. I used a little hot glue to hold it in place. Once that was done, I decided I should add some wider holes for thicker pens. I decided to hollow out the threads from these buttons and create a kind of plastic guide for the pens. It's best to add these before you add the circuit so you don't drill through it. Unfortunately for me, I'm kind of backwards, so I added them after I put in the circuit. YOLO. Now, unfortunately, my cockiness did catch up with me as I made a colossal error with the second thread. As you can see, I used way too much force to create the hole and totally bent the edge of the tin. Now, we all make mistakes, so I had an idea to cover it up. I chopped in half a lid from a smaller tin and stacked some neodymium magnets underneath. And now, instead of that hole, I have a nifty magnetic place to keep those paper clips. So, mistakes and all, I think the whole thing looks pretty nice. Except for that pen, of course. And that's how to make an illuminated desk tidy. So there we have it, how to make an illuminated desk tidy. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to check out my gadgets channel. The next video on there, I'll be playing around with an RC helicopter with an electronic winch attached. Can't get much better than that. Click the link on the screen to subscribe to that channel. And other than that, I think I might just see you next time.